After the affair, I'm struggling. Do I stay or do I go? Thank you for this question. This is probably the hardest of all questions in um, couples counseling. And even though it, you know, it's not our place to tell you whether you should stay or go, I understand you wanting clarification on this. And here's what I can maybe tell you. How was the relationship before? You know, how were you feeling before the affair? Would you have said that the relationship was pretty good? If so, then that might motivate you to work through this difficult time. A lot of people will tell you, oh, don't bother. Once an affair has happened, you know, there's really no coming back from it. It will never be the same. Trust will never be the same. Lots of other stuff. And I want to reassure you that that isn't true. You can come back from this. I've seen many, many people do this. And you can actually have a better relationship on the other side of an affair. Because if your partner is willing to do the work and heal and explore why they chose to have the affair and heal those emotional injuries that caused them to do that, you can have a closer relationship on the other side of this. And if you need proof of that, just look through some of the comments on my videos. A few people talk about it here and there. Okay, also then, I want you to really sit down and explore your feelings. Why are you thinking of leaving? Why are you thinking of staying? And really lean into why you want to go. You know, if, if there are things that are really concerning you, are those things that can be worked on or improved? And what would that look like? What would you need to see in order to want to keep staying and fighting for the relationship? You might also give yourself a little bit of a time limit, you know? You can say, all right, right now I'm feeling like leaving, but I'm gonna see if I feel this way in 30 days, 90 days, six months, whatever seems right for you. And then reevaluate at that point. Sometimes it's nice to just take the pressure off and say, I'm not gonna think about this for 60 days and see how you feel. Then, you know, when you feel ready and you can make this decision at any point, make your decision, right? Nobody nobody should make it for you. And it's very personal and there's no um there's no one guideline or you know rule that works for everybody. You have to do what you feel good about and what makes you feel like you're honoring yourself and making you proud. I'm always going to be on the side of fighting for relationships because I know that everybody has a different kind of problem package. So you'll be swapping one set of problems for another, but it may be worth it. And that's your decision to make. So big hugs to you. I hope this helps you navigate the decision. And if you want a little bit more advice, there's an article on my website called